I'm Vera Liao from IBM Research. Uh, so this is joint work with my coworker Yin Feng Zhang and Rachel Bellamy. Uh, so the first author, Yin Feng, unfortunately could not travel, so I'm here. Uh, we're looking at the problem of AI-assisted decision making, which has become increasingly ubiquitous, not only in important job domain, but also our everyday decisions. So in this session, clicker. Okay, so in this session, we're talking about trust. Um, but especially in this context, right, trust will determine whether the person will take the suggestion from AI. So a lot of work is around uh, what it takes for people to trust an AI. And we're talking about explanation. And one of the assumptions we keep seeing is that explanation demonstrates trustworthiness, even though the empirical evidence has been rather mixed. A more critical problem we see is this preposition that trust is good, let's promote trust, while neglecting the value of distrust. I think this community does much better, I'm talking more in general, which is showing some of recent literature review. Um, so we are not talking about distrust, and we barely think about, in terms of design, what promote people uh, to, to more cautiously distrust. So the dominating narratives is around trust, not distrust. So we highlight the problem of trust calibration, which is to help people distinguish when to trust and when not to trust. And we consider it an important objective for uh, prediction level information design. That is, information to help you know when to exercise more trust. And in this paper, we tested two types of prediction level information. One is confidence score, and the other is local explanation, how this particular prediction is made. Another issue we see in some of the experimental uh, literature is that, because uh, we tend to recruit people from mechanical Turk or college students, we unintentionally create this discrepancy between human performance and AI performance, that participants tend to perform worse than the AI. So this is not only an ecological validity issue, but also this setup will by default reward trusting AI regardless of whether calibration happens. So I think that's also kind of a byproduct when we talk around the trust, not distrust. So we created a experiment task. Uh, it's a guessing game of income guessing. So you see someone's profile and you guess uh, whether the person's income, annual income would be above or below 50K. So this is from the UCI repository. Uh, we chose this task because this is a relatively accessible task and it has a reasonable set of features. And when participants making the guess, they are supported by a machine model trained on a subset of the data. And we took two measures to improve human performance to be close to the model. Uh, one is they went through a training process. They complete 20 trials and they will see media feedback. Uh, we also provide a chance number table uh, that show for the particular feature, what is the chance of someone have income above 50K. So it's analogous to a decision maker has access to historical statistics. Uh, so we run two experiments with, a, with this setup. Uh, the first one, we test the effect of confidence score. The second one, uh, the effect of local explanation, both on the hypothesis that improving trust calibration and improving joint decision outcome. Briefly mentioned, we also tested a bunch of other things, for example, showing AI's prediction versus blind delegation, but we didn't have conclusive results, so I will skip that for this eight minutes talk. Um, so the testing is pretty straightforward, right? You see a profile of someone, um, you make a guess, and we tell you the model made a guess. Depending on the condition you're assigned to, you will see a confidence information, or you see explanation. Then you choose whether you want to switch to AI. And based on your final choice, you get actual monetary reward uh, or punishment. Uh, so we had a base payment, but this kind of uh, reward is helping to further engage people to do the task. Uh, so the explanation uh, is a fairly standard way of visualizing the feature contribution, both in terms of the direction of contribution and the size of the contribution. 
So take a quick glance at the results. Uh, confidence level, as expected, we did find that it helps calibrating trust, especially in the high confidence zone, people choose to trust AI more, even in the blind delegation situation. Um, however, we did not see improvement in the joint decision outcome. So that is a bit puzzling why this trust calibration did not translate to improved decision. Uh, that's because in this setup, um, the patterns that a human made error, uh, we call uh, error boundary alignment between the human and AI are fairly consistent. So in the low confidence zone, people are more cautious, uh, but they're also, it's also challenging for them, those tasks. So they're not much better than the AI. Uh, in a high confidence zone, sorry. In a high confidence zone, uh, they trust the AI, but the low agreement, the disagreement is low to begin with. So explanation, uh, we do not find it either improve trust calibration nor the decision outcome. Uh, why is that? Um, so in theory, this kind of feature-based explanation could expose implausible model rational. But this is a well-trained model, so the rationale is relatively plausible, but you can still make mistake. For example, uh, these are two cases that the AI made mistake. Uh, but it's plausible to consider marital status and age when you're guessing someone's income. Uh, but the problem is when you sum the bars here, it's a very ambivalent decision. But this is likely not very obvious for our lay participants. So this shows that for one, uh, local explanation, sorry, feature-based explanation could not be very effective for trust calibration. And second, there could be improvement we make for uh, the visualization side, for example, using cascading visualization. So hope you're still with me, and if not, uh, just remember to take away a message. The first one is we highlight the problem of trust calibration. And we show that to evaluate trust calibration, you need to go with the ground truth of high or low trustworthiness. And this points to the possibility of developing benchmark tests to evaluate the effect of trust calibration. Uh, second, we're just one of the many recent uh, experimental study looking at this kind of human AI collaboration, and we're seeing a lot of mixed results. Um, as we are um, experimental HCI researcher, from our experience, that's usually because there's some underlying factor, underlying mediator we did not tease apart. Even though we have the same kind of human AI collaborative setup, but they might differ in certain dimension. For example, performance discrepancy or uh, the arrow boundary alignment. So that points that the field needs to still have meta framework to characterize this different dimension of human AI task in order to integrate this mixed results so that we can have unified theory of human AI trust and human AI collaboration. So with that, I'd like to conclude my talk and thanks for your attention.